arrived in Udaipur at 6am and the hotel looks lovely but it's full tonight as in last night so we can't check in till the nut proper time of 1. No coffee shops are here open till 10 so we are sat by the pool for 6 hours, well a few hours, 3 hours and then Three hours and then we're gonna go sit in a coffee shop. Fun. We've arrived in a dive pool after I need to go up here. After a 48 hour journey. And they let us check in early, thank god. I think they took pity on us because we were literally sleeping on chairs by the pool at 6 a.m. in the freezing cold because it's really cold at night here. Um, so we're going to get some coffee and then what we're we doing Mike? Uh, swim. We're going to chill by the pool, we've treated ourselves because we had a 48 hour journey. We've treated ourselves to a nice hotel for two nights. Um, and this is sort of our last main stop in India. We're going to Varanasi but that'll only be for two days. We're here for a week. Let's see what a dive pool has in store. Coffee has been found. It's literally less than five minutes from our hotel. It says it's open. Maybe it's because they've got the aircon on, they keep the doors closed. Let's find out if it's open. Actually, it was open. We have ordered coffee and I've ordered some waffles. We are very hungry right now. Just had our washing done at this nice hotel and every single piece of clothing's come back with our room number written on it in pen. Oh! So, it's just so funny. That's gonna be on our clothes forever now. And we're just gonna look at it and remember the time that they just drew on our clothes in pen. It's not okay. Yeah. Fun. Fun. So we've just been down to reception and we've sent him, he was basically like, what? So he's, Mike's sent him the photos. Some of it's just, some of our clothes are stained yellow. The rest have got 108 written on them in a pen that won't come out. Honestly, only us. We will literally wait until we're at a nice hotel to get our laundry done, just because we didn't want to risk. You know, if you take one on the side of the street, often bits go missing, and then it's really hard to sort of track down those missing bits because they've probably been sent off to another customer. So we wait till we're at this hotel, and it honestly, it's like it's so bad. It just I'm just laughing, like I can't even be annoyed because it's just like so. All of our stuff has 108 written on it. It's so bad, it's just like funny. Oh my gosh. We are off out to watch Nottingham Forest and to have a little drink to drown our sorrows at our laundry. We're not that bad. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just too bad to be funny. Anyway, oh, that's a strong smell. Oh my God, that's yeah, that's, a really, that's probably the worst thing we smell in India. We're off now. We're going to have to hop our breath. So Mike's managed to find a sports bar in Udaipur to hopefully watch the Premier League. Yeah. Our next hotel we're really close to sort of the lake um, we're in the old city here so we're sort of near all the tourist attractions and tell you what it, spent, it took us ages to find somewhere to stay here we just couldn't decide and Mikey picked this place and he has done good it is really really nice let's check out a view this could be an anti-climax because I've not looked at this yet there you go that's not bad. We'll take that. Um, there's also so many little stores and shops in. This is sort of our last big place we're staying. So I'm going to buy so many souvenirs. So excited. Right, should we go get coffee?
yesterday just because we were, went out. Check out that view. There's the city palace right there. Ventured out for the first time today. Mikey's had a bit of a flu today, so he's not feeling very well. Check out this view. general store where they just sell random bits of everything and then um, we need I said oh, do you have any dish soap and they only had like the powdered version I was like oh, I need liquid like the gel to get oil out of my clothes and they lived there so she was like oh I'll just go upstairs and get you some so they didn't have any in the shop so she went up and put some in a little bottle for me which is so sweet she was called Sita and uh, she offered us a cooking class as well but I said Mike's not not very well right now so we might have to come back yep. but how nice is that hi that dog's owned it's got a collar we i found mikey mikey's feeling a lot better today not completely better but better so we are gonna head for a day out yeah. um sorry it's really loud but building work going on down there. I don't even know what day it is in a dive hall because obviously we came here just to chill in a hotel on the outskirts before we came into the town so um, yeah Mikey's feeling better we're gonna go grab a coffee and then we're gonna go to the city palace which is like the big huge palace that you can see from our hotel so that should be really good it's gonna be a good day here at the city palace it is a hot all day but it is very very beautiful here around the palace and we're gonna go grab oh look at that there I've just noticed it yeah we're gonna go get a coffee we just bought a little wedding bangles these are traditional bangles that women will wear on the wedding day and this one reminded us of the engagement ring Mike bought us we've bought it for our wedding day so Michael give me that on the morning of the wedding to remind us of India on the big day
bottle of water and the, um, the guy didn't have any change. He was like, just take it and bring the change later. Oh, like, bring the, bring the money later, which is just really sweet. Honestly, everyone in India is just so kind and generous, aren't they, Mikey? Yeah. So there you go. So we've made a note, we will be coming back to pay. Sunset over a dipole and a lake. We've got paneer butter masala, Mikey's got a dal dish, some naan, and then a beautiful view to enjoy it with. morning sort of planning our next steps in Thailand, Vietnam and Cambodia and now we're at this Jagdish temple which is literally we've walked past it every day um, but now we're just coming in so I think it's mainly dedicated to Krishna but they also have sort of carvings of the other gods as well. So they're the creator, sustainer and destroyer of the world. And there's a peacock and an elephant there for good luck and strength. One thing about India is there are literally temples, beautiful, detailed temples everywhere and shrines. So shrines like this, you'd literally see walking around the street. I think in about a two minute walk, we probably pass four on average that are really well looked after, always have incense burning and offerings of flowers. It's a very religious country. Our friends Jasmine and Med, Hello. and we're off to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey is 
a loving the Indian breakfast. I still can't quite move away from cereal. Is it good? Mm. And what are they? Potato parathas that we made ourselves. Dal, rice. So it's the dal. Mm -hmm. What's the verdict? Mm. <laughs> That's some good stuff. Our last night in a dive pool, which means we're saying goodbye to this view and goodbye to Med and Jazz, who've been our little Adai Poor slash Jai Selma companions. And we 
are off tomorrow to be flying to Delhi, ready for our short little trip to Varanasi before Nepal. got a Starbucks and a lovely conversation with the man about Kether and what it means um, and we literally got off the plane I went to Starbucks because we are exhausted and Mike came straight to bag and said it, mine was the first off just going round round and round on its own um, so Mike's just waiting for out of the bag and then we are staying in the hotel literally right next to this terminal because tomorrow we fly to Varanasi but without these we're leaving these at the hotel because these bad boys cost us an extra 30 quid so we were six kilograms over the weight limit despite the fact that in our rucksacks i mean i've got all my trousers in the rucksack like super heavy we've got all our books in the rucksacks as many toiletries that we could fit in the rucksacks so we're still over so we're just keeping our fingers crossed for mikey's bag now here he comes our rambo <laughs> with his bag slung over his shoulder. Woohoo! 